It's not that I see everybody messing up these two words, Wuden and Mada, but I did see it happening frequently enough that I wanted to make a video about it. So first let's talk about this one. Mulden. Mulden is an adjective. So the way that it's used is you take Mulden and then you attach to that after with a space a noun. So it's not an adverb, meaning it's not going to go before a verb, and it's also not a noun by itself. And it has to be used directly before a noun. So let me give you a couple examples of that. You could say something like Mulden cut. Literally, cut is thing, so now you have everything. Or you could do Mulden saram. Sara meaning a person, so every person, everyone. Also note that there are going to be other Hanja words, a few of them anyway, that already have the meaning of every within them. For example, uh, that would be with the Hanja me. So you might have the word like me ir. Me ir already is a Hanja word that means me every ir day, so every day. So you wouldn't use this one on top of a Hanja word saying something like Modin Meir every every day, that would sound repetitive. And I'll put a link in the description for a, a video that I made about how to use Me separately. So check that out as well if you'd like to learn more. Okay, so this one overall is pretty simple to use. You just take it and you attach a noun after it, and it means every of that noun, and you're done. Next we have Mada. Now, Mada means each. So not every, but each, as in each one, individually and it's used after a noun instead of before a noun. So here you'll have a noun followed by mada. And while this one was used with a space as a regular adjective, this one will attach directly with no space. So this means each with a focus on the individual noun that you're talking about. First, one of the most common places that you'll see this is in the grammar form, de mada. This uses the form Day. So each when. Literally, day means time. Each time you do something. For example, if you take the verb hada, you get hai te mada. Normally, hai te is when you do something. So each time you do something. However, you can also translate this as every time if you want. You could also translate this as whenever, whenever you do something. So each time every time, whenever you do something. It doesn't matter though how you translate it, just keep in mind its literal meaning. So let me give you an example sentence. 냉면을 먹을 때마다 배가 아파요. So 냉면 would be cold buckwheat noodles. So 먹다, to eat. 먹을 때, when I eat, literally the time I eat. So each time I eat cold buckwheat noodles, 배가 아파요, my stomach hurts. My stomach does. And I'm not really sure why. Maybe it's because whenever I eat naengmyeon, I always eat them super fast. And I said another way that this is used is directly after a noun. And there are a lot of different nouns that can use mada, but I'm just going to give you uh, a couple examples here. So you could do sara mada. So each person. Again, not every person, but each person. Or here's another example. Irbun mada. So each one minute. So each minute, 시계를 봐요. I look at my watch. So I look at my watch each minute, literally, or every minute I look at my watch. And this is where a lot of the confusion can happen because both of these can translate as every. In fact, often it will sound more natural to translate mada as every, even though it just means each. So in order to really understand this, I'm gonna have to go over the difference between each and every in English. In English, each and every are a bit different, as are molden and mada. Molden, so every, is for talking about multiple nouns or things. When you use it to refer to the whole group, so all of those things or all of those people, you're referring to that group as one. So the example I gave you before, molden saram, is every person. But here now you're describing every person as one group. Now, mada, each, is also, just like every, used for talking about multiple nouns or multiple things. But when you use it, you're actually referring to the individual part of that group. So if you say saram mada, you're saying each person, or you can translate it as every person, and that's that while there are multiple people, you're referring to them one at a time individually. So not every person, but 
each person. So because of this difference, mada will be used when you're talking about the frequency of something or how often something happens. So it tends to get used with time nouns. So each time or whenever or every time, that sort of usage, you're going to want to use mada since you're referring to that time individually. Just as we saw in that example with every one minute, so each minute, ilbun mada. Or you could do it with other amounts of time. And again, this is because you're talking about that time individually, not every single time bunched together as a group, but every three days. So each three days, something happens. So whenever you're using time nouns, just keep that in mind, you're going to want to use mada to say each or every. Okay, so that's the main difference between these two words. Is there anything that I missed? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you again in another episode. Kram, Tawmitoba!